I am fighting my child to get him to read. He is a reluctant reader, and it is a battle all the time. Is this familiar to you? So this is something I often hear from other homeschool parents. And as someone who loves to read anything, it makes me want to cry when I hear of a parent struggling with a reluctant reader. Hey mom, so welcome to the Life Unboxed podcast where we talk about all things mompreneur, from raising your kids to running a business and the most important, keeping your sanity. I am Jody the mom, a successful virtual assistant and homeschool mom of six for almost 10 years. My goal is to give you as much help as possible so you can confidently start a business and homeschool your kids. So be sure to visit lifeunbox.blog and get started. And be sure to share this channel and website with a friend. Now let's get into this week's topic. Let's talk about reluctant reader to voracious reader. Reader. I was a struggling reader in elementary school. Yes, my recess was always cut short so I could go to the reading intervention classes. If my school years were judged by these first few years, I probably would have been pegged a mediocre student instead of the valedictorian I was in my Bible school class or the almost straight age college students from my some college. When you do school with a bunch of kids at home while still working, there's going to be a B here or there. I've had to concede that fact. But I am a voracious reader. I determined that I would probably have a number of college degrees by now based on all the reading I've done. Even with my lack of time, I still read as a busy mom boss. So mom, be encouraged. If your reluctant reader is struggling right now, it is just a season. This doesn't have to be his story for his entire educational experience. I've also had to help my own reluctant readers, and there are a few strategies you can use to encourage your child with reading. So reading is the foundation for all learning. It is a starting point for any subject. I will consider myself a successful homeschool mom if my kids can read well and understand what they are reading. Job done. (laughs) So reading is also the starting place for teaching your kids to be independent thinkers. We can't teach them everything, but if we can show them how to find the answer to their questions, we've done our job. So reading is the key to unlocking everything else. So before we get into specific strategies, we need to understand learning styles. So let to quote Shakespeare, know thyself. This is most important when it comes to learning styles. We all learn in different ways. There are four dominant learning styles. However, most people are a combination of the various styles. The four styles are visual, auditory, read-write, and kinesthetic. So don't try to fit a square peg into a round hole. As parents, we operate in the realm of what we know. It is familiar and it is what we know. So we apply the same principles to our kids. But if you have a child with a different learning style from you, the same teaching style that works for you won't work for him. So a few months ago, a mom was lamenting in a homeschool group that her kids didn't like to read. It was a major struggle. They liked audiobooks, but she didn't want them listening to the books. She wanted them to actually read the books. So I confess, if I could scream on social media, I would have. This mom was willing to fight every day with her kids to read a book, but they were more than willing to listen to the book. There wasn't any consideration to her children's learning styles. If your child is an auditory learner, then give them every opportunity to listen to books. This may not be a sign of being a reluctant reader, but a sign of his learning style. 
Yes, they still need to read pages. The practice is necessary. However, encourage them to listen to audiobooks as well. The advantage to this is they will know how to pronounce words better, <laughs> right? Any reader will know. We know we can tell you the definition of a word, but we may not pronounce it correctly. So my husband is a dominant audio learner. By his own admission, he takes forever to read a book. He isn't a reluctant reader, but visual isn't his strength. And he finished his bachelor's degree with audiobooks. So yes, you can do college and listen to your textbooks. So he used the text-to-speech feature on his Kindle. And since the Kindle was reading the book to him, he could still bookmark the pages when he needed to cite sources. Okay, so now let's talk strategies to help a reluctant reader. Number one, ignite a love of reading. I know there's an idea in homeschool circles that children shouldn't read twaddle, meaning they should always read deep, thought-provoking books. You know, books that most children would hate reading. If you want to ignite a love of reading, then your kids need to enjoy what they are reading. So let them read twaddle. Yes, your kids are going to fight you if you're narrowing their choices to boring books. The first step to loving reading is to actually enjoy what you are reading. So let your kids read a wide variety of books, even if it's twaddle. Number two, rule out a learning challenge. Your reluctant reader may struggle because there is a learning challenge. If that is the case, figure out what it is. Because once you know, then you can start strengthening your child's abilities and teaching specifically to their challenge. Number three, tailor learning to fit the learning style. You need to know how your child learns so you can teach to that style. If your child is an audio learner, then let them listen to a book while following along in the actual book so they are hearing and seeing. This is actually a great way to encourage reading in any child, even if he isn't an auditory learner. Audiobooks still count as books, and don't be discouraged if your kids prefer to listen instead of reading the actual book. The goal is to get them to fall in love with stories. If that is through audiobooks, then use them. Four. My favorite one, read graphic novels. These are the best tools for reluctant readers. And I think it's the combination of short sentences, lots of action, and there's no overwhelming chunks of text. So I had a reluctant reader and he loved graphic novels. So I bought as many as I could find. He is in high school now and he reads without hesitation. And he is reading large chapter books. So they won't stay at graphic novels. Well, that won't be the only books they end up reading. Number five, you're always growing. This is one of those areas that we will always be growing. Our taste will change and we will read more complicated books. This only comes when we have a love of reading and you can ignite a love of reading even in a reluctant reader. We need to enjoy what we are reading. So read wi- we read wide, read twaddle, and read books for no other reason but to get caught up in a story. This is the one takeaway you need from this post. Your child needs to fall in love with stories first. This is where you start, and that is how you start igniting this love of reading. You don't need to do things the way they've always been done. Uh, So a reading journal is a great way to do your homeschool and reading differently. I am so glad you joined me today. If you want to help spread the word, be sure to like this video and subscribe to the channel. You can listen to the podcast on Apple Podcasts, Spotify, and wherever you listen to your podcast. Remember to check out the Life Unboxed store for all of your mom boss merch and homeschool resources. You can support the show with coffee. Visit Kofi, that's K-O hyphen F-I dot com forward slash Life Unbox blog. And for more great mompreneur content, follow Life Unbox on social media or check out lifeunbox.blog. And be sure to share the podcast and video with your friends. And I will see you in the next show.